Republicans and Democrats in the House came together yesterday to pass a funding bill to avoid a government shutdown. And while the bipartisanship would normally, normally be cause for a celebration, other tensions among the lawmakers boiled over on Capitol Hill, including this moment during a hearing in the Senate. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. Stand your butt up. Yep, you heard that. And that wasn't the only questionable situation on the Hill yesterday. Nicole Killian joins us from Capitol Hill. Nicole, yesterday, these are grown-ass men, but what we were looking at looked very much like the high school... No, make that junior high school cafeteria. What's happening up there? How do you explain this? I know. I mean, look, all I can say, Gail, is it's been a tough couple of weeks here on Capitol Hill, and so everybody is on edge. But things really seemed to go off the rails yesterday with multiple confrontations among lawmakers. The silver lining is that the House was able to agree on funding the government, and the Senate hopes to take it up as soon as possible. The bill is passed. The House overwhelmingly voted Tuesday night in favor of a two-step bill to extend government funding through early next year. More Democrats supported the measure with 209 backing it, along with 127 Republicans, a key victory for Speaker Mike Johnson. Speaker Johnson, how do you feel about the vote, sir? How do we're, we're, Did pleased. You... we're pleased. We're pleased with the The vote capped off a chaotic and contentious day on Capitol Hill. You look like a smurf here. Just name calling at a House oversight hearing. You've already been proven a liar. Today. Who's proven me a liar? You? Yes. Your word means well, nothing, Mr. Chairman. To a beef between former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Tennessee's Tim Burchett, who helped oust him. Hey, Kevin, you got any guts? Jerk. Burchett chased McCarthy after he said he was elbowed. Elbowed me in the kidneys as he walked by. I did not kidney punch him. I did not shoot anything like that. You didn't shot him. No. You don't buy his explanation. No, ma'am. And over in the Senate, former MMA fighter and Oklahoma Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen almost came to blows with the president of the Teamsters Union. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your solution? Every poll. No, no, sit down. Sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Active. Oh, okay. okay. Sit down, please. Senator Mullen says that exchange wasn't personal and he has no hard feelings. Meantime, Florida Congressman Matt Gates has filed an ethics complaint against former Speaker McCarthy for that elbow incident. Nate? Bernie Sanders is all over it. They better be careful before they feel the burn. Nicole, thank you. <laughs>